Today, we are ranking every tier one battle pass skin in the history of Fortnite. I feel like tier one skins are very overlooked. I feel like everybody focuses on the tier 100 skins, but there are plenty of tier one skins that I think are better than the tier 100 skins. If you like this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, comment some of your favorite tier one skins, use code ToonSpider in the Fortnite item shop to support me, and let's get to ranking. All right, we are starting off with Blue Squire from the chapter one season two battle pass he's got to go c the reason i'm not putting in d i think is nostalgia uh, pretty much like it's just a simple night skin it is pretty clean but there's nothing super special about it so it's going in c and i'll be doing the same with mission specialist like i'm gonna be 100 percent honest here i don't even like the astronaut skins from that season but because they're og the nostalgia we're, we're gonna put them in c carbide from chapter one season four this is when tier one skins started getting really cool if you remember carbide he started with that general suit right and then you could unlock the different pieces to build kind of like an iron man suit in a way for him chapter one season four actually had two tier one skins the other one is battle hawk and battle hawk is going in d He's just a simple army skin guy with an eye patch. We've had this plenty of times and we've had way better ones since then. Up next is Drift from chapter one, season five, going in S plus for sure. Clearly the best tier one skin up to that point, arguably the best battle pass skin at that point. And if you want to check out how I ranked all of the battle pass skins, the link is going to be in the description, but Drift, he started out, his base was really cool. And each level just got cooler and cooler until you got to that final form with the pink electricity, the mask the big overcoat like arguably the best skin up to that point huntress huntress was really cool she was a simple viking skin and i actually really liked it i'm gonna i'm gonna be putting her in b calamity at tier one also a very hard skin to be she's gonna be going in s from the base version all the way up to the final version it was just a really great skin dj yonder dj yonder he's gonna be going in c but he's gonna be at the top of c he was really cool, but we ended up getting a better Yonder skin later that season in Chapter 1 Season X. So for that, he's going to be in C. Moving on to Chapter 1 Season 7, and this is my all-time favorite skin. I think this is the best Tier 1 Battle Pass skin, Lynx. Lynx's final suit, the black version, the multicolor, the red version, the blue version, are all really, really cool. She has been my favorite skin since she dropped. She also has a suit form, but also has the hoodie, which is really cool as well. Overall, I just love this skin. I also love the Renegade Lynx version as well. And then Zenith. Zenith, I feel like was very overlooked because of Lynx when it came to the tier ones in that season, but he was also a really clean skin. Going in A is Blackheart. Blackheart is a pirate skin, which really fit the theme of chapter one season eight and i think his upgraded styles are really cool hybrid is on the same level as blackheart for me i really like the upgrade version i really like the base version i really like all the different colors they really spoiled us with these two tier one skins and the battle pass was free then chapter one season nine i have rocks going in a as well i thought she was a really cool skin i think besides maybe demi she was probably my favorite skin from that battle pass and again she had a lot of styles she had a few different colors just the customization of it was great for a tier one skin sentinel chicken robot is going d skin's just not for me i'm sorry catalyst going in s plus chapter one season x did a battle pass remix and catalyst was absolutely insane she is on par in my opinion with drift i love the colors i love the final form i love the base suit they absolutely cooked with catalyst x lord x lord will be going at the top of s he is another incredible skin he's a remix of russ lord he had multiple different styles he had multiple different colors and they're all fantastic in my opinion then we get to chapter two season one and journey i believe it's journey versus hazard but hazard is the alternate version she's going in b she's pretty cool pretty simple but that was kind of the vibe of chapter two season one was going back to simplicity um uh, overall i enjoy the skin i wore her a few times up next is turk versus riptide and he's going in d just the fisherman skins just weren't for me i know it makes sense because fishing was first brought in chapter two season one but it's just it wasn't for me agent peely peely in a tuxedo as a spy s plus no argument maya our first customized skin she's going in s the only reason she is an s plus is because it locked on and we couldn't just keep customizing throughout the season or throughout time now i wish she was always customizable and there was something special about that chapter 2 season 2 battle pass the little trailer for the characters they had like their own rooms and stuff just the battle pass lobby was awesome i don't know, just the vibe of chapter 2 season 2 was it gave more life to the battle pass characters in my opinion up next is ocean and ocean is going in 
in A. She's going in A. She has a little bit more styles and such to her compared to some of the characters that are in B and C. And I really enjoyed her. I thought she was a good skin in the battle pass. Up next is Fade, and I think he was on par with Ocean, so he's going to be going A. Thor. I don't... I love Thor. I love Thor. Uh, and if you've been watching my videos for a bit, you know, I love Marvel, but just the skin wasn't for me. I don't know. It's just the style of it, I think, but they did absolutely cook in that Marvel battle pass. That Marvel battle pass was amazing. Mandalorian from chapter two, season five has to be S plus. They did an incredible job with the skin. I love that. We got little Grogu as a back bling. If you are a fan of the show, the skin is just perfect. Agent Jonesy. I love Jonesy. Don't get me wrong. I love Jonesy especially his new underground version, but the tuxedo version was cool, but there's just so many better tier one skins. So I got to put them in C. Chimera from chapter two, season seven. He was this customizable alien skin. Not really for me. Chapter two, season seven wasn't really for me in general. It was all right. It was a solid season. Uh, he's going to be going in C. The only reason he's not in D is because there was so much customizability you could do to this skin. If it wasn't for that, he would definitely be in D. Charlotte. I think Charlotte's going in S. Her base form really cool really simple really clean i like that she has a half sleeve tattoo but her final form is really sick to me i like the green glow that she has overall really enjoy that skin chapter three season one shanta i absolutely love chapter three season one battle pass and that season in general i really like this skin shanta i think was a very strong tier one skin she's going in a suki 2.0 i like the original suki version more but this one was really cool and she had a few different styles i wore her a lot that season when i got the battle pass so i'm gonna be putting her in a evie evie is another skin where we've gotten a better version recently with summit seeker evie um, I did enjoy the skin though. I like the all black look. I really liked her back blings too. She's going to be going in A just because I did wear her a lot, but she wasn't my favorite skin in that battle pass. There was actually a couple that I liked more than her. Paradigm was really cool. She's going in S. She had a few different styles. I really liked the suit and she was voiced by Brie Larson, which is really cool. And that rounds out chapter three, moving on to chapter four, season one, Celine. I like her base version. I like her upgraded moon version. So she's got to be an S. I still wear this skin to this day. Renzo the Destroyer. Renzo is tough. He's going in A. He, he'd be towards like the top of A though. He gives me Ghost Rider vibes a little bit, but like in a clean way, if that makes sense at all. But he was a sick skin and a great tier one skin. Era was also a great skin. She had a few different versions that I really enjoyed. Didn't really like the wild season chapter four, season three, but there was some cool battle pass skins and she was one of them. Nolan Chance. Nolan had a really cool black and orange version. Other than that, he was pretty simple, but he was uh, he also looked really cool, so I'm going to be putting him in B. Spectre Knight. All of the customization, the combination of the different Knight skins, she has to be in S+. And following Spectre Knight into S+, plus is Hope from our Chapter 5 Season 1 season. I really enjoy this Hope skin. I love the different colors the different customizations that we can do and the purple bonus reward skin looks really clean on hope this concludes my tier one battle pass ranking let me know your favorite tier one skins in the comments if you want to watch me do the next tier list ranking live follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash toon spider if you want to check out more of my tier list ranking videos click on this playlist here other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day peace